Hello, I'm JW, and uh, recently Boombox Deluxe uh, put a comment there requesting that to uh, have a look inside this plug with the sprung sleeves on there, and uh, comparing it to the more usual type there without the sleeves. So uh, let's uh, open these and see what's inside. Now here's the two plugs, and uh, of course the top is uh, pretty much identical. Uh, same logo and uh, obviously the same uh, fused wording on there. So that's uh, pretty much the same. And the main difference is the depth. In this case, uh, here it's quite considerably deeper, uh, presumably, of course, to allow the space for the sprung parts to go into the housing there. And notice this one has got the inspection hole, and uh, this one does not. But uh, other than that, uh, pretty much identical design. And we've got the same screws here. Just notice they're obviously recessed uh, further down in there because, of course, of the extra depth involved. And again, a single screw to fix it together. So let's have a look at this one first, which is the uh, standard one with the unsleeved pins. And uh, in the case of this one, we've got a three amp fuse there. So we can just remove that. Uh, so this is one with the uh, chewed out uh, pieces on it, uh, which uh, unfortunately is somewhat damaged, but uh, got the three terminals there. And the three terminals are the style where you put the wire around the central post and then this cap piece screws down onto that. So let's take that uh, earth pin away there. And you'll see that these are basically just a two-part component where the top is uh, separate to move from the base part. So when you tighten it down, it doesn't actually pull the wire around and obviously you either tighten it far too much or loosen it. So a threaded stud there, and that just simply goes over the top to secure the wire underneath. And of course the other two are the same there, single screw there to fix the lid. And then the flex grip there, just that flat bar with the two screws threaded through it. Now let's see what this one is like inside. Again the screw is the same in the centre, just further recessed in. So inside, uh, in this case we've got a 13 amp fuse, that's the original uh, MK branded fuse as well. 13 amps there. And the lid of course is pretty much the same. No real differences there at all. And the base again is uh, very similar. So we've got the three terminals there. This one is uh, slightly loose actually, which is uh, not ideal. But uh, in terms of the internals, pretty much identical and um, we've got the same uh, embossed wording there for the colours of the wires green, black and red and again the uh, E, N and L symbols embossed in there. Now I'll just take off this uh, terminal here so again there you go, the insides are pretty much identical the only difference, of course, being is the extra depth. So, of course, that top part is going to be the same, and then you've just got that extra space there, which is what contains the sprung plungers there. And in terms of the actual uh, terminals themselves, again, they're pretty much identical. This one has uh, a slightly smoother base, and this has got the sort of ridges on there, but other than that, they're uh, identical. Now, it's not entirely clear how these were assembled because this is a moulded uh, back piece here. This is all the one piece uh, moulding. And of course, there's the uh, sprung piece, which of course does not come out of this side. But pretty obviously, it can't have been placed in from this side because it's not big enough. So, what we might be able to do is just unscrew this. Which of course is how the pin is secured in. And uh, hopefully then the pin will come out on the other side, and then we shall see what we can find on that side. So we'll just uh, rotate that until it gets to the end of the thread. So that's just a single uh, pressed out piece of brass. And of course this pin now should go through and come out the other side. So if we remove that. So here's the base of the uh, plug here. And I see it's all moulded in one piece. And got that very deep recess there with the hole in the bottom. 
and here's the pin and the sleeve assembly. So the threaded part, of course, will go down inside, and that's what will be secured on the back with that small uh, fixture there. And we've also got the spring there to keep the uh, plastic shutter from being pressed back and obviously disappearing into the recess there. And if you look down in the bottom of the recess, you can see that there's a uh, cutout there which is shaped, which of course fits the end of the pin here. So I've got the two flat sides and then the sort of curved uh, side parts there. And of course that will fit in there to uh, stop the thing rotating. Now the pin itself is solid brass and uh, notice on here we've got a uh, moulded piece here on this shoulder. So the uh, square section ends and then it uh, tapers and always machined down with this uh, slightly curved section. And the plastic sleeve here again has that square section at the front. But if you look down inside you see that there's a uh, slight radius section inside as well. And of course that's designed to fit over the brass machined piece here. And because of that it means that this can't slide all the way down the pin. It can only go down to basically this point. But of course it will uh, make it with the stops down in there. So that's what actually prevents this from going all the way down. It will get to that point there. And of course it won't go any further forward. And of course it's held in that position with the uh, spring on the back. And of course it can easily slide back and forth there into the moulding of the socket. And the spring just, say, just presses onto the back of there in that groove so there's no uh, other fixings there at all. So uh, that's how the thing is actually assembled. It's simply a machined brass pin. This plastic sleeve is a separately moulded component. And then of course it's just the uh, spring on the back to push it forward and uh, keep it uh, in the extended position. So internally then it's uh, very similar to the other design. There's got that extra sort of little recess down there which uh, doesn't have any real purpose but other than that the layout is the same and the same style of uh, connection terminals and the fuse holder and whatever else. And the only real difference is this extra depth and of course the recess here which is of course to hold the plastic piece here so that it can go flush when it's pushed into the socket. Now but I just uh, reassemble this so that it doesn't get totally destroyed. So of course the uh, pin just slides in here, spring on the back, and then this will just go through into the uh, hole of the back there and getting it in the right alignment it will then lock in place so it won't actually uh, rotate. And then the small brass piece uh, that goes on the back and uh, is secured to stop the pin falling out. And of course this side is going to be very similar, it's just obviously got the fuse holder there so the uh, fixing is going to be under here and I think in this case it is actually uh, riveted in there so unfortunately we might be able to uh, take that one out but again it's going to be the uh, very similar arrangement with the extended pin obviously with that extra section on the back. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching.